this, my friends, is real. Gas prices are real, right? And they are affecting gig workers big time. So Uber and Lyft drivers take home pay plummets as gas prices soar. Please share your gas price the last time you filled up. Uh, what city, what state in the comments box. Fuel costs eat up as much as 60% of some drivers' earnings now. And drivers sign a petition asking companies to step in to help. So this is unfortunately what we have to do. We always have to rally together as a gig family, sign petitions, strike, protest. Again, I remind you, March the 17th, we're standing up for safety. Um, in this case, there is a petition out there. So thank you, Jackie Devalos, for putting this out from Bloomberg. Drivers for Uber Technologies Incorporated and Lyft Incorporated are feeling the pain at the pump as the war in Ukraine drives gas prices in the United States to an all-time high. When Philippe Jean, 45, filled up his tank to drive for Uber, on Sunday night, the price per gallon was $4.19, an unfathomable figure, he said. Seven hours later, it jumped to four forty-five. dollars um, Now, I'm barely breaking even, and I'm driving a Prius, Jean said, the eastern Pennsylvania Based driver who began working on rideshare apps four years ago said fuel costs eat up about 10% of his take home pay on average. Today it's about 60%. Gas prices have dramatically spiked across the country as Russia's assault on Ukraine intensifies. On Monday, key US lawmakers reached a deal to bar imports of Russian oil in the United States, paving the way for a rapid crackdown on crude from the country anticipating such a move. Oil had its biggest daily swing ever with the price of barrel of Ben crude surging to nearly $1.40. Like I said the other day, $7 is just around the corner. The surge has trickled down to the pump at a staggering pace, according to Patrick DeHaan, head of petroleum analysts at Gas Buddy. Uh, the U.S. national average price of gas is up more than 49 cents in the last week, the largest seven-day increase ever, including the aftermath of Hurricane Katrina in 2005. Gas Buddy data shows on Monday the price surpassed its all-time high of $4.10 a gallon. This make, this, that's making Uber and Lyft drivers consider whether a rideshare hustle is worth sustaining. And again, I'm going to add to this, the CEOs, CEOs are not doing anything about the gas prices. They are not uh, demanding that the rider pay more. No, they are letting you eat that cost and it chews in to your profits. They don't care. We will make them care. Very simple. So uh, that's making Uber and Lyft drivers consider whether a ride share side hustle is worth sustaining. In Phoenix, where a gallon of gas has soared to $4.16, Christina Brown, 46, spent $59 to fill up her Lincoln MKS sedan, almost double what she paid last summer. As a single parent, Brown supplements income from her job in operations at Delta Airlines by drive, driving about at least 10 hours a week and more if the apps offer promotions. Those kind of second thoughts pose a key challenge to a pandemic recovery for Lyft and Uber, which have struggled to find enough drivers to meet resurgent customer demand. And they say we have enough drivers. No, you do not have enough drivers. And if you don't do anything about gas prices, you will have less drivers. The company's leaders have said supply has substantially improved since they first began doling out incentives and bonuses last year to lure drivers back on the road. Me personally, I'm not buying it. But average weekly charges per mile during the week Ending February 27 were 18% higher than in January 2021, a period reflecting pre-driver shortage pricing, a sign that driver inventory has kept up post-Omicron. The unprecedented shock to prices at the pump could add more uncertainty to the equation, just as many COVID restrictions are being lifted and more workers are heading back to the office earlier on Monday, Uber raised its profit outlook for the current quarter, citing increased demand for rides. It's unclear whether the higher gas prices are being passed on to consumers just yet, 
but Uber said that for every 20% increase from today's average, rider fares would only need to rise 1% to keep drivers and Ubers cut from each ride consistent. That is absolute BS, right? They, they think for every 20% raise at the pump, they only have to increase the rider rate by 1% and that would cover us. It's BS. It's a big fat lie. You know it. I know it. Our platform only works if it works for drivers. So we'll continue to monitor gas prices and listen to drivers over the coming weeks. Please do not make that crap up. You are not listening and you are not adjusting. We know it. An Uber spokesman said Lyft and Uber both pointed to their partnerships with GetUpside as a way of providing immediate relief for drivers. The rewards platform offers 25 cents in cashback for every gallon of gas purchased at participating gas stations with higher rewards available for Lyft's platinum and gold drivers. But drivers are clearly concerned. A campaign aimed at getting ride-hailing apps to help drivers with fuel costs has gathered more than 5,500 signatures on organizing platform coworker.org. The petition calls for Uber and Lyft to take um, a smaller commission from fares and to pay drivers the mileage it takes to pick up a passenger from the point where the request was accepted to the destination. Go there, find that on coworker.org and sign it. Can't afford to keep driving full-time gas prices are driving us out of the rideshare industry. We need a rate increase, the petition reads. Even before Russia's invasion of Ukraine, uh, drove up prices. Brown was reconsidering working for rideshare apps on Lyft. When a driver accepts a ride, the app only pays for the mileage. Once the driver's reached a passenger, some folks are 15 minutes away from where I'm starting and only go a mile away. I'd only make $2.50 on those rides, she said. With the spike in fuel costs, those profits could be whittled away even more. If it hits two, if it hits $4.25, I'm not going to be able to afford to drive, Brown said. And there are many drivers like Brown. Um, I'm reading the messages here in the channel that say, I'm not going out at those gas prices. And if the companies are not doing anything about the high gas prices and not charging more to the right and passing it on to the driver, drivers will not return to the road. Everyone be safe. Strike March the 17th for better pay, better safety, and them helping us out at the gas tank. Let's take a stand on March the 17th. Be safe.